Becky. This is uh, Mary Long here with the Plein Air Painter Chicago, and this is Lee Radke, who is one of our guest artists who will be coming up this weekend, uh, May 4th, to do a, a demo for us and critique paintings. But beyond, on behalf of the Plein Air Painters Chicago, thank you, Lee, for sharing your time and your knowledge as a guest artist today. We've uh, invited you because your paintings inspire us and you have a unique approach to plein air and we have a lot to learn from you. Uh, so uh, I think first we wanna know more about you. So Lee is speaking to us from Lake Zurich, uh, Illinois in his studio. Um, and by the way, in a few minutes, you'll get to see a little bit more of his studio. But how are you doing this morning, Lee? Fine, thank, thank you. you. Good. Hey, so. Um, we're just going to spend a few minutes here, and I have a couple questions for you just to get to know you better. Um, so what brought you to become a plein air painter? Well, it started uh, probably when I was a kid. I, I always liked to draw. I ended up uh, going to the Institute of Design and graduating with a uh, BS degree in product design. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did painting back in my early years when I was first married out of necessity because I needed paintings for the house. So I had no formal uh, art education as such, but uh, I always had the desire to get into the fine arts. And uh, after I graduated and had a, a, a fairly successful career as a designer, uh, I uh, went to the uh, palette and chisel in 1998 with a friend of mine. Uh, for their drawing marathon, and uh, it uh, it was the beginning of, of my uh, fine art uh, career, if you call it that. Uh, and we do. I, I did, uh, you know, I at that time I just did some some life drawing, and then I joined a club called the Valley Art Club, and uh, I met a a, a friend, uh, Mort Luby. Uh, and he started a plein air uh, uh, group, and uh, I, I went I went a few times with him, and we eventually uh, joined up with uh, Scott Powers at the um, uh, Palette and Chisel, and uh, we would paint every uh, every Saturday, uh, as you know, they're still doing that, and. Um, and that's that's how it it, it grew. And uh, I have some of my earlier paintings that I've kept, and I, it's it's amazing, you know. Over uh, this started in '03 with the plein air painting, and but over 20 years, uh, it's uh, it you know I, I can see how how my uh, technique and my um, uh, my uh, basically uh, how I paint, how it's evolved over the years. So uh, uh, with that, um, I, I uh, now uh, have, uh, I don't know how many paintings I've done, uh, but uh, I think uh, I used to do uh, probably 60%, maybe 50 to 60% of my paintings were done uh, as uh, plein air paintings. But uh, uh, in more recent years, I, I have done more studio work. And so uh, that, that number has come down. In fact, last year was probably the least uh, number of uh, plein air paintings that I did. It was probably like 25%. I do approximately 75 to 100 paintings a year. And they are... Uh, in the smaller size. I'd say the average size was 12 by 16, 11 by 14. And uh, my, my paintings, uh, as you know, I, I work quickly and I, I think I learned that from plein air painting. But uh, I, um, uh, I, I like to paint uh, what I see and I like to paint it uh, to, to, to capture, obviously, uh, the impression of what I'm seeing. And, and, and I like to do it in, mm -hmm. in, a, in a fast, uh, in, a, in a quick manner, let's put it that way. Yeah, I'd like to learn a little bit more about how you approach a scene. How, how do you think about that? Well, again, that, that's evolved. Uh, when I first started, I used to like 
line draw what I was seeing and then paint. Now I, uh, I tone my board with whatever I decide, whatever color sky I want to have. And then, uh, and then I do, I do most of my painting direct. I, uh, I, by, by that, I mean, I just, uh, I paint, uh, large um, uh, sections and uh, or uh, there's a there's a better word for it uh, and and, uh, uh, and 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 the painting evolves that way I, I put I put the I tone the board and then I and then I proceed to put in my uh, my main uh, elements and then I keep working uh, towards uh, a finished uh, sort of a, uh, a finished painting well, I know that you're very fast. You know, I know that I've set yeah, it, up. That you're just about finishing. It's, yeah, it, it, it's funny because I, my speed is, you know, it, it isn't intentional. It just, it just, uh, I sort of my personality. And I notice, you know, you know, watching other artists. I think we all paint like our personality. Some people are very deliberate. They're uh, very precise. Other people are. Uh, like me, uh, a little more um, uh, loose and uh, and just uh, just concerned mainly about what we see and and putting it down. So. And and so it's very much an impressionistic aspect. Yes, and I'm still I, I'm still not satisfied. I, I'm still searching for a uh, more painterly look. You know. Um, uh, less less detail, uh, and, and you know when you approach a, a plein air painting, you can get overwhelmed by all the things you see. You have to, you have to in your own mind simplify that, and and just put down uh, uh, just large elements, and then and then build on that, and and don't get caught up in all the detail. Yeah, that's a struggle for me. I know that I end up uh, wanting to put down very realistically what I'm seeing. And I was saying recently, I would love to get more painterly, but I, I feel like I have to learn how to do yeah. these, the realism first so I can uh, abstract from that. Yeah, so. yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, plein air painting in the city is probably one of the most difficult things to do because you have to you have to know how to draw. You have to you have to know perspective, and I always emphasize that when I'm doing a demo. Uh, people, a lot of people don't understand that, and uh, it's critical because um, it, it makes the it, w without that, you know, I don't care what you do, how you paint it, it's it's not going to be uh, uh, a, a nice painting or something that, nice to look at. So and, I, I mm -hmm. the, the drawing aspect is, is very important when you're painting a plein air painting. And, you know, I noticed that, um, you know, everybody is watching their clock while we're doing our paintings. Because, of course, with the, us, we paint from 9 to 12, typically, on, the, on a Saturday morning. And there's that last 15, 20 minutes. What do you do during that time knowing that you, well, you're probably done, but what do you do in the last 15 minutes of, of your time uh, to finish a painting, to look at a painting? I, I, yeah, I, I would say that, you know, I basically start out using a, a big brush. I, I, I use all flat brushes and I use the widest brush I have, which is about uh, maybe an inch wide. And uh, uh, and then you keep working down as you know, you, after you get your main elements in, you start to get a little more detail. And then the last 15 minutes are, uh, are you still with me? I sure am. Okay, I, I see, oh, I see there's some uh, phone call is coming in. <laughs> and, and anyway. Uh, Don't answer it. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway. Um, uh, I started to use uh, smaller brushes then, and 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 uh, add those little little touches of uh, little little uh, spots of light and uh, and highlights. Uh, if I have cars and people, I like to put cars and people in my paintings, and I will have that on this demo. Uh, 
Uh, and so uh, those things will um, uh, will finalize the painting. It'll it'll all come together. And yeah, then I, of course, I, I use I use my camera uh, when I'm first starting out because I, I want to sort of compose what I'm going to paint uh, in with with my with my phone or with my camera. And then when I'm done. Uh, it gives me a reference, so if I go back to the studio and I see some glaring mistakes, I can I can make changes in it, and and uh, so I I uh, I'm a firm uh, advocate of of using the tools that we have, and in in this case, my camera it's a compact little thing, and it and it gives me just enough so I can sort of compose my painting, and. Uh, uh, and, and set set the parameters up so that uh, the, the painting is going to have a, a, a good chance of, of being something that I'm going to be proud of. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. I, I'm uh, excited for your for your demo on Saturday. I, I uh, just to see all these things. What what advice do you have for planner painters? Well, uh, my 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 first suggestion would be to uh, as I did, uh, is to go to life drawing classes or to learn how to draw first before you come out there. Uh, plein air painting is the most difficult uh, part of painting. Uh, painting uh, from life is, is next to plein air painting. And, and then, of course, painting from a photo reference is probably the easiest uh, thing uh, to do. Uh, so... My, my my advice would be to to practice drawing as much as you can. Learn perspective, especially if you're going to do cityscapes. Uh, it's not as important uh, doing landscapes or still life, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, learn learn how to draw. I mean, that's uh, that's the the critical ingredient in in uh, in doing a, a plein air painting. You know, I had a uh, teacher once, uh, after I had painted with them for a couple weeks, say to me, you need to learn to draw. And I honestly, at that point, didn't understand what he was saying. It was such a <laughs> basic thought that I thought that it was something much deeper than really learning line and perspective. And I now, of course, after um, a couple years here, uh, understand what it is. And it's much harder than the simpleness that it, that's in that message of yours about yeah. learning to draw. Well, um, let me say it. Uh, uh, I, I really, I'm, I'm a strong advocate because I've been drawing all my life. So it, it's, it's the transition from my design experience into my fine art experience was easier than, say, the average person because I have been drawing so long, you know. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, uh, uh, it, it just came more natural. So, Lee, do you have any exhibits coming up or other kinds of competitions or events? Yeah, I have uh, in June, uh, the, uh, I think it's the 8th, the ninth. I think the 9th and 10th of June is uh, the Old Town Art Fair, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, as you know, over uh, not far from the Pell and Chisel. In Chicago and, uh, here, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's been a great, uh, it's, it's been voted the number one art fair in the country and it, it's been around for over 60 years. It's uh, it's an honor to be there. This is going to be my sixth year, I believe. And it, it, it's it's uh, there, there's some. Uh, I, I'm honored to be among uh, the the artists that are there. It's 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 really quite a high quality show. That's great. Well, definitely, I saw you last year there walking through. I'll I'll hope to be there this right. year. Right. Right. Um, so, Lee, uh, you offered to show us your studio. You want to yes, walk why around? Yes, I uh, just give you a little uh, sample of uh, behind me here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, if you uh, can show us a little bit I'll more. I'll turn that over oh, great. Back a little bit. Can you see that? Yes, if, uh, just a little bit a, uh, more of your desk than we are your painting. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have a desk. I have my studio. I'll show you. I was on the other half of my, off, of my studio is uh, where, I have, where I have my easels. But I use my desk, obviously, for other things. Uh, but uh, this board here is a, what they call a slat wall board. And I, it, it came out of, I, I, was, I used to design stores. And so I 
I knew about this system and I bought these uh, clips. And uh, when I do my paintings, which you can see they're all in the same, in the same size range, uh, I, I clip them up there and then I have a chance while I'm on the phone or while I'm doing anything, I, I always see them. And uh, some of my most recent, I got a couple of my most recent paintings. I'm going to take this uh, off the easel. Yeah, please. It'll probably uh, it's all right. be a, a little shaky, but... Uh, yeah, it'd be these, great to see them. These are a couple of the uh, paintings that I... Um, your hand I, is over the your hand is over the lens. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. And now yeah, that, and now the, we're the, seeing the one I call Lakefront is uh it, it was taken from the uh Hancock building and oh. the lower one is uh State Street. These were both done within the last uh, month or so. And then of course uh th these are other some of these paintings are 4 or 5 years old, but I still like to look at them. Uh, I'm going to swing around here, and this this is my uh, my uh, easel, and uh, I have a couple of easels. Are you and, on a lake? Yeah. I, You're I, actually I, on my, Lake my, Zurich. Yeah, my studio, it's not Lake Zurich, it's Echo Lake, ah. but my studio uh, faces the lake, and that's my house over there to the left, so I'm separate. Uh, I, I'm separate from the house or separated from the house and it, it, it's a, a tremendous advantage because I don't have the interference of uh, normal household activities. Uh, the, the, this, this painting here, the, I don't know, can you see the uh, pelicans? Yeah. yeah, nice. I did that yesterday. Uh, it, it, again, it's, uh, you know, just indications of pelicans. I did a series of paintings of uh Canada. I, I've been going there for 30 years fishing, and uh, so uh, I wanted to have some uh, remembrance of these. I, I doubt if I'll sell these, uh, just uh, nice remembrances. Really and over here, I have uh, more of my show wall. These are samples of uh, my uh, ship paintings, and uh, uh, these these have been uh, were as you know in the uh, Maritime Museum in yeah. um, uh, up in uh, Sturgeon Bay. So so that's about it, Mary. Can you I, show I, us that I, whole wall? Uh, pre pardon. I wanted to see the whole wall of paintings of oh, the ship paintings. You couldn't see. Uh, uh, just just pan down there. Oh, there you okay. go. All right. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, that's the uh, that one in the far right corner. I, I've submitted that to several uh, for several uh, 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 contests, and, and and it's never received. And, and, and it's one of my favorite paintings. Huh. Along, of course, all of, all of these uh, all of the ship paintings are uh, this this one here in particular is the uh, uh, one of my favorites. And, and again, I've submitted it to the AIS and the OPA and it got no recognition, so. Yeah, it's beautiful. But anyway, uh, this is another little wall that I have uh, of uh, some other well, paintings. With I, don't, I don't know how the lighting is there, but. Uh, it's fine. So anyway, uh, well, that's, that's about it. Well, Lee, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. And we'll see you on Saturday. Very good. Thanks, right. Mary. I Thank appreciate you. it. Bye-bye.